For the last 18 years, football teams in the Jackson Madison County school system have practiced and played on the gridiron. Baseball teams have rallied to the diamond on campus or at county owned parks and track teams have well tried to make do for 18 years. In fact, USJ, a Division II school, is hosting the West sectional track meet tomorrow because the Division I public school teams have nowhere to run. Meet day is a fun day for high school runners in the Jackson Madison County school system. That's because on the day of the meets, they run on the rubberized surfaces at USJ or Dyersburg High School. On the track, the track is very soft. It has um, material that's, that's soft on your legs and feet and ankles. It's much different than the concrete, gravel, and grass they run on at their respective campuses. Uh, it's been kind of tough, you know. Sometimes if we run in the gravel, we'll slip somewhere. But I have some injuries on this track. The public school system owns three tracks. There's one behind Madison Academic. I uh, run on a track that's um, a little less than in good shape. I guess you could say it's uh, really torn up. Fell on the track a couple times and this track. Mm -hmm. and um, scarred up the back and hurt my wrist and all that stuff like that because it was no, no traction to catch. So you couldn't wear spikes. It was just tennis shoes. And uh, hurt on your shins because it's like concrete. There's a second track at Liberty Tech. So they built Liberty. We have a track, and the track was not built to specifics, so it cannot be used. Not only that, but it isn't surfaced. We have a track, and now we have five high schools, five high schools in Jackson, Madison County, not counting the middle schools where you have to build your program. And there is no track. There's also the complex on Hollywood Drive. On Hollywood, it's just plain concrete. So we might well just run down the street back and forth just to get a workout. It's the same type of turf for the high fields. That one is totally, totally, you know, it's, it's dilapidated. There's um, chunks out of it. It's terrible. It was terrible 12 years ago when I was coaching middle school. In addition to the evident need for a regulation track facility in the public school system, both students and coaches believe the benefit would expand beyond a quest for medals and trophies. It'll give younger people a better opportunity to move on forward and give them something to look forward to because out here, when, without this track, it's like you don't have the motivation. Several people from Northside, yes, since I've been around, that have gone to school on a track scholarship. They were that good without a track. Just think what we could possibly do if we had the facilities, even if we just had one facility that everybody could share. There's a reason kids in Dyersburg and Ripley have signed track scholarships in recent years. In fact, USJ, Ripley, and Brighton are the only schools outside of Memphis and west of the Tennessee River that have regulation track facilities. It's really the forgotten sport in Jackson. Now, if you'd like to voice your concern on the issue, the most beneficial thing to do is to call your county commissioner or city councilman. While you're at it, please copy those comments to me at ghammond at wbbjtv.com.